What is up guys? My name is Nick and welcome back to another Black Ops 4 video. Today we're going to be talking about probably my favorite weapon in the game or at least one of them. It's definitely in my top three. Now a lot of people actually hate this weapon and I have no idea why it's so good and that is the GKS. A lot of people don't use this. Everyone goes and uses the uh, SOG or the Spitfire instead which I have to say I think the Spitfire is really insane and it, it is really good but it's definitely not underrated. But the Spitfire man, I have a little quick story. I was on 24 gun streak the other day. I was literally about to get a nuclear. It was like the easiest lobby I've ever been in in my entire life. And then my team, I told them, I'm like, don't cap, don't cap, let them get the hard point, whatever. And they all jumped in it. My whole team jumped in it. And they're like, yeah, yeah screw your nuclear. And I'm like, oh man, that sucks. But that does suck. Anyways, guys, to be talking about the GKS. And I want to go into some little stats with you guys to show you that this gun is actually the best. And you guys go watch the gameplay right here. Like I get these double kills. I get these triple kills. I get these long shot kills. Like this gun is literally a beast in all ranges. And if you guys are good at using it, it's definitely worth it. Now, before we get into this video, guys, if you could leave a like, show the GKS some support, that would be amazing. And I just want to say we're only 250 subscribers away from 400,000, which is, it's incredible, guys. Thank you all so much for the support. And if you guys are new around here, make sure to subscribe with those notifications turned on. And uh, yeah, we're going to be on that final stretch, man. That That's it. We're going to hit that either today or tomorrow, man. We got to do it. All right, guys, leave a comment down below before we get into this class setup and let me know what your favorite underrated weapon is. Some weapon that you guys use in this game that nobody likes whatsoever. Let me know down in the comments below. I think this is my favorite underrated weapon. This one or maybe like, I don't know, maybe the Rampart. So that's kind of underrated. Not many people use it either. And I, I just think like this one's good, guys. Just watch this gameplay here. This one is insane. And let me know what you guys have as your favorite underrated weapon down in the comments below. All right, let's get straight into it. But let's talk about this GKS quickly. I think it's like honestly one of the best guns in Black Ops 4 and I don't understand the hate for it. Like I go on Reddit and I see people saying how bad it is and how they shouldn't use it and stuff and then I see some people defending it and when I see those people defending it I'm a happy dude. But the thing is this class that I have right here, I'll tell you guys the attachments right now, it is such a basic class probably the most basic class you could ever make in a call of duty and what i have attached on it is grip one grip two so you, you don't flinch much when you're shot at which is really good grip one allows you to have like no recoil practically when shooting and then grip two allows you to not flinch much when you're getting shot at so you're going to be insanely accurate at a lot of ranges even when people are shooting at you and then have long barrel one and long barrel two long barrel one lets you, allows you not lets you <laughs> allows you guys to actually shoot further with the almost the same damage and long barrel Two allows those bullets to hit the targets faster, which is really worth it. Like you gotta, you gotta be able to use that. And I have to say, this is such a basic class. We're not gonna run quick draw. We're not gonna run extended mags, which I do think extended mags is needed. But I'd rather have perks on, like scavenger, because you're gonna run out of bullets pretty quickly, especially using an SMG. Now I have to say, like these, very basic class, very basic. And if you guys, I don't know, you should use it, try it out. Maybe not the Damascus version. That's the version I'm using in this game because the iron sight is really weird. Don't ask me why I'm using it instead of the regular version i put it on by mistake and i i kind of like it a lot I, I really don't know why it looks different it looks cool but it's kind of hard to use the iron sights so just use the regular gks or if you're using like the unicorn version or something i would i would definitely suggest putting a sight onto that now let's just go into the actual stats of this gun right here quickly so it has the highest accuracy and the longest range in all smgs and so that means that with the highest accuracy you're not going to be missing many bullets even if it doesn't shoot that fast you're not going to be missing many bullets but guys don't even worry about that the fire rate on this gun isn't even as bad as it seems it's definitely not as fast as the SOG or the Spitfire but it does outplay those guns in my opinion if the Spitfire goes up against this gun at long range guess who's gonna win definitely the GKS even medium range at that up close it all depends this one has some pretty good hip fire accuracy so if you're moving a lot and hip firing you may be able to get a Spitfire person and the SOG I don't know man if you're good with the SOG like I'm pretty good with it at long range so I don't know I can't really compare it against this one but this is definitely this is a good one for underrated it definitely is now it basically turns this gun into an AR those attachments that I put on so if you guys actually want to use this gun like an AR and you want to rush at some points as well you could easily do it it's not hard whatsoever you'll be able to hit those long shots those close shots those, those shots everywhere and I really do think it's definitely underrated now guys let me know down in the comments below your favorite underrated gun some gun that you like to use that you don't see many people using and if somebody says the outlaw 
boss sniper, I'm gonna be really upset because that was probably the hardest weapon I had to get gold. I don't know what it was about that weapon, but it was so hard. And I just wanna say, if you're going for gold, if you're going for diamond, if you're going for dark matter, the GKS is a very easy weapon to use to get those headshots. It's one of the easiest SMGs, in my personal opinion, to get those headshots. So I think like this gun is just overall, it's really good to use. It's really fun to use as well. And especially if you have the unicorn version, it's a funny version. I remember when no one really had that and I had it, I was like so hyped and stuff. So it, it's definitely great. But guys, trust me, go ahead, use that class right there. And it, it's it's absolutely amazing. And I just want to say, guys, we're so close to 400,000 subscribers, which that's, a, that's like a lot of people. That's really mind blowing to think of, which means we're only going to be about 100,000 away from hitting half a million. And I have to say that is, these are insane, man. Like I never, when I started YouTube, dude, I, I didn't think this would happen, but it, it's insane, man. So I want to thank you guys for that. And for those of you guys that were new around here, make sure to subscribe with those notifications turned on. Let me know your favorite underrated weapon down in the comments below. Leave a like, support that GKS. Give it a like if you guys do enjoy it. And if you don't like it, I, I don't know what to tell you, man. The GKS is fun. Go ahead, try this class out and let me know what you think. All right, guys, thank you for watching. My name is Nick and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.